real excited about this panel. Um, we've got three really, is your seat way down? Nope. I hate that. Must have been a tall guy here. There you go. There we go. Okay. Um, so we call this the X-Files. Wasn't that clever? Uh, <laughs> How marketplaces are changing real estate. Oh, God, that's a lot of words. Um, marketplaces, one, two, three, succinctly, like we're on, let's say we're on the 11th floor of the elevator, mm -hmm. and we're going to the first floor, and there's gonna be no stops in between. Uh, let's start with Dave. The, you know, we see Zoom's logo everywhere. What is the Zoom marketplace? So the Zoom marketplace is the opportunity for a consumer to visit zoom.com and they're gonna get exposed to two types of properties. They can move through the auction process. At the same time, they can search for traditional retail listings uh, there as well. So gotcha. for the consumer, they've got the option to go auction path or go the option of retail, or the option of retail path. Okay, and so I am a, just take me through as a buyer. Yep. I choose the auction. I'll see a list of properties coming to auction. I That's exactly that right. So, so we're aggregating um, assets from a variety of, of sources. Uh, and as we aggregate those assets from servicers, we're marketing those assets, uh, you know, in the, the given marketplace. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, and typically, you know, still today, Brad, we see uh, within that environment primarily cash buyers, investors. But there are some unique trends that we'll, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about today. Good. Okay. Um, Laura, who is seven and a half months pregnant? With number three? <laughs> yes, third Could it girl. be twins? No. No, oh my gosh, my husband almost fainted when the nurse said that. We have, we have twins that are three years old. This one's one, so. Oh, girl. Yes. You're gonna be busy. <laughs> uh, tell us what your marketplace is. Sure, so Concierge Auctions is a luxury residential real estate marketplace. So we curate properties from around the world that are typically one of a kind, difficult to value, they're worth what buyers are willing to pay for them. We expose them on an online platform where agents, buyers, and sellers can come together to identify value, create price revelation for these properties. Great, Rick? Yeah, we, we're a, uh, an online transaction platform. We actually have three business lines since we rebranded as 10X. So we have our, our legacy business, which is auction.com that most people are probably familiar with. Uh, that's focused exclusively on bank-owned and foreclosure properties, and that's aimed at investor purchasers. Uh, we have 10X Commercial, which, as you guess from the name, is, is a, a, a platform where we're selling commercial properties. Uh, and now the, the newest product, uh, kind of our startup, if you will, is, is 10X Homes. Uh, and that's our first consumer-facing website. It, it's aimed at selling traditional properties uh, to, to, to buyers and, and, sell, and working with sellers and agents who, who represent them. Gotcha. So real quick for the people, the benefit of the people here, the benefit of what each of you do that might help a real estate agent or broker. So Rick, can I list my commercial building, my home? I'm, a, I'm an agent yep. on, and sell it through your auction. That's actually our model. And, and I, I, do, I do need to correct something because I know we, we, we focus on auctions because that's where we all came from. Right. Our, our new products really are, are built primarily for non-auction transactions. So but these, is it online bidding? It's, it, it's, it's online offer management. So you make an offer, I counter the what offer. What does that mean, online offer management? That gives me a headache and I got a little bit of a hangover. So, well, <laughs> I, 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 know, I know I saw you partying last night. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's much simpler than it sounds. Uh, so look, a listing, a, a listing agent brings a listing to us. We right. market the property for them, Zillow, Truly, Realtor.com, search engines. Yeah. We drive buyers to the site. The buyer makes an offer through the site, which is shared in real time is the buyer doing it with an agent or by themselves? Could be doing it either way. What's your, so, real, what's your real agenda, to do it, uh, do it by themselves? No, it's not our real agenda. We, okay. we actually think our fastest way to success is to work with listing agents and yeah. buyer's agents. To, to, so they do all that, all the negotiating online. They close their paperwork online. Yeah. It, it's all online, online, online. So my pal Katie Maxwell in Houston, she's smart, savvy. She can put it in the MLS. She can put it in Zill, Trulia. She can do the whole nine yards. Um, why would you go through this, what do you call it, online marketplace management? Why would because you we're, we're right now the only site where you can actually complete the transaction online. So, gotcha. and so we're not a listing site. It. You can close a deal online. Okay. And we're going to be integrating. So the realtor can get it done really quick, make their yep. money, go home. So Katie can maybe get a commission while she's moderating Connect and it's all done. Yeah. Okay, cool. Katie might be up your alley. Uh, by it, why, isn't she great? And isn't Lee yeah. Brown great? <laughs> and aren't, I mean. <laughs> And how about Joe Rand? He's awesome. 
Like put Joe together with Lee and they would have genius babies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Laura. Okay. So we, we just surpassed a billion dollars in historic sales as a company, and we've never sold a property without a listing agent involved and offering a commission to a buyer's agent. And what is your so, promise to the realtor? Certainty? Quick payment sure. commission? What is it? So for, for listing agents, it is ease of transaction. We take care of everything from the marketing and technology setup and exposure of the property for 30 days yeah. before the auction occurs. So the, the near certainty of a sale in 30 days for the agent and with our partnership of our platform coming on and we're actually funding all of the, the exposure efforts for that time. Gotcha. Now you have a new app, it's called? Instant Gavel. Okay, so I went on there. Yes. And it wanted a hundred grand for me, so I was going to wait and see how we did this this week <laughs> with registrations. Uh, sign up for the. <laughs> um, is that? Did I understand that right? I, I have to wire some money to you. In order to bid, so Instant Gavel That's is like our scary bidding application. So all of our bidders have to be pre-vetted and pre-qualified in order to bid. Anyone can, can download Instant Gavel, it's free in the App Store, yeah. and you can watch our bidding as it goes on. Right now, 85% of our auctions are being conducted through the Instant Gavel application. The other 15% still have a live auctioneer who typically is present at the property and a live auction is going on. But it's a great way to get to know our company, download the app and watch it. So you I buy, I can buy bid. and sell a, with an app like I, Got my Uber car this morning. Exactly. Great. Okay, Dave, real quick, you plug realtors in or are you trying we do, to do this? We do, we do. There's, there's two ways. So one, you have the traditional path with REO properties. So if you want to be a member of the REO network, you have expertise in managing bank-owned distressed, at prop, distressed assets and properties, you've got that path, right? We're always looking to build out that network um, and, uh, and deal with agents who have expertise specifically in that area. On the retail side, think of us as a referral exchange. So as we generate opportunity that's coming off of uh, traditional retail assets, uh, then we'll take those opportunities. We're identifying the best agents in a market, top performing agents, whether ultimately that's through reviews, past performance, and we're seeking to co connect that consumer um, with, uh, with the agent, uh, gotcha. the top performing agents in that marketplace. Gotcha. Now, these kind of companies, I mean, I've been around so long, but I used to write about auctions, and we'd write all these stories about auctions, and all these characters, after the, the inventory is flushed out, they would all disappear. It's right, like, right. oh, now we're going to do it every day, and suddenly they're gone, they're in the beach, or, you know, and then they come back during the subprime, then they come back again, and um, are you guys survivors this, survivors this time? Is that because of technology or demand? And make it really quick, because I want to get to the demographic. Who's really using this? Is this just another pipe dream marketplace BS or is it real? Okay, so why are you still here with all the foreclosures out of the market? It's yeah, Rick, go ahead. It's not about foreclosures and, and, and the big difference is what you said, it's about technology. It, it used to be everybody thought auctions would, would carry on after the, the downturn. Right, and they never did. This isn't about auctions. This is, this is about enabling people to buy and sell properties online using either an auction or a more traditional methodology. Yeah. But, but that why, technology you, wasn't why, around the last Why are you, century. Rick, you're doing this? You don't like the word auctions, do you? I can tell. You don't want anyone to call you auctions. Do you, do you all feel that way? You don't want to? Well, she, like does, she doesn't because she, she, she <laughs> represents the high end of the spectrum. But in our case, our consumer research came back and said, everybody associates the word auction by itself with distressed properties. And so if we're, going, oh, okay. so if we're going into the traditional so, market, that mm -hmm. becomes a problem. Yeah. So you don't want to use that. We're, we're at a slightly different right. definition of auction because we're really more akin to auctions of fine art or antiquities. Right. Yep. So we're trying to, we're, we make that parallel. Yeah. And actually today clients are, at, are seeing that buyers and sellers even more so maybe than real estate agents are understanding that definition um, yeah. more than when we started eight years ago. Well, whatever you call it, I think you're still an auction, but I don't, yeah, I don't know yeah. as much about yeah, it. Yeah, it's still, it's still uh, let's do this, demographics, Laura, luxury. Tell us, are rich people, high net worth, are they really doing this non-auction auction? Are they really doing this non Are they using it? Sure, they sure. Are. I mean, our, our Give business. Give me one example, how much money, where, who the buyer, who the seller was, and who okay. bought it. 
Sure, so one example that is pretty customary within our database, there's been a lot of discussion about um, CRM and, and database management in this conference, and we, we pay a lot of attention to our database. So one real-time example that's recent is we had a client who came into our database in 2013, and they were only an email address. That's all you have to do to first get into the marketplace. And so we had them in there, and our marketing software was following all of their traction on our website, but we didn't really know who they were. They surfaced last year in 2015 to bid on a property in Vail. Bid in two Vail, Colorado. In Vail, Colorado. Um, they first came in, I don't know if I said this, to the database for a property in Fiji. So they cool. then bid on a property in Vail, so we then knew that they were interested in mountain properties. Bid 2.6 million, lost it. Registered two months later in April of 2015 for a property in Snowmass, bid four and a half million, lost it. And then registered for a property in Park City and bid six and a half million and won it. So the, they this were looking for- Is called a frivolous for, rich or what? Well, they were looking for a mountain property, and yeah. we say this a lot, that our clients are more lifestyle oriented. So whether Vail, Snowmass, or Park City, they wanted you know, a great property. And consummated the transaction and boom, bing, done. They did. Wow. Yeah. Really? Okay, that's the rich. The rich are not freaked out by this. Rick, you're dealing now with more middle class, regular. Yeah, we, did, regular, we, did, we did, a pilot, did a pilot program last year to see if the concept would work because our research said it should. Uh, and we, we were selling rehabbed bank properties. So these were going for full price. Uh, we had a 100% sell through rate, 88% uh, 88, uh, 88 sold in three weeks. How many units is that? Uh, it was a couple hundred. Yeah. I mean, it was a small test. 96% um, list price. Two thirds of the buyers were traditional home buyers. Right. They, everybody worked with an agent, uh, a listing agent and a, and a buyer's agent. Everybody used traditional financing. The only difference is they happen to be buying the stuff online. So gotcha. we're, we're clearly aimed not at, at Laura's market, but yeah. at, at the middle market, the mass market. And they're taking on younger? Uh, surprisingly, no. It's it's, yeah. it's a pretty pretty across the board demographic. But, but online, online, and forty five percent of our traffic now, and about thirty percent of our bidding is on on our mobile devices. And Dave, you're first time buyers. Right? Yeah. So so Brad, we found an interesting trend with first time home buyers, and and here's a very millennials, tech savvy millennials. Yeah. Here's a good example. Uh, so Jake, from Georgia, recent yeah. graduate of the University of Georgia, yeah. early twenties, had some student debt was struggling to find the right property in the right place at the right price. Uh, doing a lot of homework, uh, couldn't find the property, couldn't qualify uh, for exactly what he was looking for. Ultimately, he landed on Zoom.com. Working with an agent through this process, moved into the auction process and looking at distressed assets, and ultimately found the property that he desired. But what he was willing to do was one, he was willing to do the homework. Did he get rid of the agent or did he keep no, it? No, the agent was, removed, was in the process the entire time. They did their homework. They understood the value of what Doesn't they were doing. Doesn't sound like the agent was doing anything. It uh, sounds like this, <laughs> Dave was doing it all. No, the agent was, in, the agent was involved with Jake, right? Jake, and, right. And, and, yeah. doing, and doing the uh, you know, proper CMAs, yeah. getting the right value. But here's what Jake was willing to do, right? So this, yeah. is, this is unique. So you've got the student debt issue, trying to find the right value. But Jake was willing to take on a do-it-yourself style of project, right? There's some risk when you go to buy that type Sweat of Sweat equity, the old way we all started. Exactly right. Our first house. But, but there was a willingness to do so. Yeah. And, cool. and we're seeing, it's not an overwhelming majority of our sales, yeah. but it is a trend, okay. right? It's not a blip on the radar, it is a trend. Quick, how you get paid? You're eating any of the commission of the realtors that participate? We do. You charge them? We do. So we're bringing to the table, uh, you know, marketing activities, we're, yeah. you know, all, all, all of the, the promotion. Yeah, of I the understand all the benefits. Right? So, what, how, do you, how do you get your money, just real quick? And I don't so how we, how. we're getting our money through referral fees, right? So, so portion of the through commission. what? Referral. Portion of the commission. So you're referral. referring out business, and the realtor's happy to do that. It's reward-based. Exactly and, right. And they get, how much do you get take from them? Um, so, so typically an agent will get paid in an auction path, uh, they'll get paid uh, about a point and a half. So, point and a half, yep, okay. Yep. And then and on, the, on just, the retail path. That would be the buy side, right? Not the that's, that's right. And then on the point and a half. So about half they would ordinarily get, but you're doing a lot of the work. Is that the that, basically that, the argument? That's right. And, and when we and go they, to, There's agents that will do that all day long. They may not like it, but they'll do it all right. day Right. If you come to the table with a qualified buyer who's yeah. ready to act, right? Yeah. There's somebody. On the retail path. Uh, you know, it's, it's uh, similar to traditional referrals yeah. that you see where, you know, if there's 3% in play, you know, we take a point and the agent keeps This reminds me a little bit, not exactly, but this idea when they have self-driving cars, I'll buy a bunch of them like I do rental property, I put it in the carpool of Uber and make money without doing much. Maybe if you do all the work, they can get a point and a half and not have to do anything. Right? Huh. Right. Maybe. Okay. No, it's, yeah, there's, but there's some guidance, right? Yeah. When you get into the bid process, right. 
especially a first time home buyer, it's overwhelming. Yeah. You have to have yeah, that yeah, yeah. guidance. Right. And so, I don't mean to minimize any of it. I just trying to understand where this might go. Mm -hmm. Laura, you get paid mm -hmm. same way? No, we actually, the listing agent and the buyer's agent are still protected pursuant to the current listing agreement. So agents still have full market rate commissions in all of our sales. We're paid by the buyer. Now, one caveat The actual is consumer. The consumer, the buyer. What so are they paying you? They pay a buyer premium on top of their high bid. So what, our, Like I our, bought a 20 million or $2 million in Aspen. What did, I do, what did I pay you? So our premium on that sale would be 10%. So you'd pay the a buyer 10% pays 10%. buyer premium. So they pay $200,000? That's correct. On that yeah. house? Yes. Why would I do that? That. So it well it, it covers it covers all of the fees associated with our firm and the marketing of the auction itself. And they see the benefit of that. Is yes. that the old auction model? Where yeah. they, oh, that's oh, so that's a transport from the old auction model. It oh, is, I didn't know it that. It is now the higher so the, the price. So the presumption point, there though in the auction, I don't want to get back to that, but I know that you're not doing auctions anymore. But we're, we're, you are really. But anyway, <laughs> the ten percent of we the, are. <laughs> you are. You're not Rick. Rick. <laughs> so, Rick knows me. I've been doing this doing for 20 years. Yeah. Um, and I keep coming back. Yeah, but you're doing it because you think you're going to get a, uh, a house cheaper, so you don't mind paying the 10%. How is this going now? Well, I mean, certainly some buyers keep the premium in mind as they're conducting their, their bidding. Yeah. But for sellers, you know, we're offering the time certainty of, of having the sale, and so sellers, yeah. our, our sellers value control and time yeah. um, yep. in, in return for letting the market identify the price. So so I will say, though, that the higher the price point goes, there the we do start covering some of yeah. the commissions for the seller. Rick, how do you get paid? Quickly, on, on auction.com, it's similar. It's a 5% buyer's premium. Gotcha. And that's been traditional on, on the commercial business. So you're cheaper than Laura. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, we are. But that, that's a whole <laughs> different discussion. You can't buy a luxury property on auction.com, so you, you yeah, get what you pay gotcha. for. Uh, and our, our buyers don't mind because they are getting a discount. So the, the, they build that in. Uh, on the commercial side, it, the highest we charge is a buyer's premium, gotcha. 5%, but it, it really comes down pretty rapidly. And, and the good news for agents right now on the, uh, on the 10X Homes platform is yep. it is absolutely free. Yeah. We're actually funding it through the other two businesses so we gotcha. can start to build some, some volume. Great. You three are really smart. By the way, everyone that comes to speak for him and knows that I do this to people because I'm here representing you, not them. It's about you, not them. But it's sometimes I just feel so bad after I do it, but I want you to know I really respect you. You did a really good job with all the things I fired at you, and you really gave me this, you know, the bot and human, like, you're kind of the bot world, and it's going to be out there, and realtors are going to still be hooked into it, mm -hmm. so that's what I hope to get across. You did a really amazing job, and uh, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. You Thanks, weren't Brad. too tough on us, Brad. Save yourself. <laughs>